Hi. As your project grows, so does your need to start organizing the contents of it a little bit. A common way of organizing contents in CAD drawings is by working with layers. In Capture, we work with layers under the Layers category of the Design tab. Here you can add, remove and configure layers. Let's add two layers to this project, one for the fixtures and one for the props on stage. Let's start with adding the fixtures layer. I'll enter a name for the layer. Next, I want to associate the fixtures with a layer, and this can be done in one of two ways. The first way is by selecting the objects first, and then drag and dropping the layer onto them. So I'll drag the layer and drop it on one of the selected fixtures. Let's take a look at the other method with our second layer, the props layer. This time I'm still going to select the objects first, but then I proceed to the selected items category, locate the layer property, double click and select the new props layer. So now we've associated the objects with different layers, but we still haven't quite made a difference because we also want to configure the layers a little bit. Let's start with taking a look at the color of the layer. The first color property here is the screen color and this affects the wireframe views. So let's change the color, the screen color of the fixtures layer to, let's take a blue. As you can see, the fixtures have now turned blue in wireframe. So color layer is a great way of coloring the wireframe view, um, thus categorizing different objects into different layers. Apart from the wireframe color, we also have columns available for paper color, um, paper text color, as well as paper solid color. These colors affect the plot mode and your plots. So let's change the view over to plot mode and zoom in on one of the fixtures. Let's start with changing the paper color. Uh, let's choose a red. This colors the outline of the symbols. Next we have the solid color where I will choose a light red, which colors the fill of the symbols. And finally the paper text color as you might expect colors the text of the symbols. There are quite a few more properties available on layers such as the layer, um, the line thickness, which is called the paper weight, as well as various op options to lock the layers from accidental editing, selection, and even removing layers from reports uh, and other options. Now in order to hide an entire layer from a view, you need to work with something that we call filters. A filter is a way of selecting layers as well as DMX universes and use that as a method of filtering the contents of a view, a report or a plot. Let's create a new filter that doesn't include the props so that we can use it as a way of looking at the stage without any of the props. I'll create a new filter and call it No Props. Then I will double click the checkbox next to Props here to remove the props from this filter. And finally, we want to use this filter in one of the views. And one of the ways to do that is by dragging and dropping it onto the view. Another way of selecting a filter for a view is in the views category where every view has its own filter property. So let's do that for the alpha view and apply the no props filter to that as well. At this point, if I edit the filter, this instantly uh, updates the views where the filter is used. So once you've set up some filters to work with, uh, it's very easy to configure what is included or not, um, and it applies very quickly to the views. Thank you for watching.